Hello dear ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Cargo Ship Captain's channel. This is video from playlist devoted to various types of ships and marine facilities. Today you will find out about seafood production, so welcome to Salmon Marine Farm in Norway. Present day, marine fishing farms are one of the most dynamic and growing segments of the seafood production industry. While the Chinese are indiscriminately overfishing wherever they can reach, people on the other side of the planet are trying to do it more technologically without harming nature. Scandinavian countries are renowned for their high standards. The demand for seafood continues to grow, leading to the establishment of more and more marine farms. While there are numerous marine farms in other parts of the world as well, Scandinavian aquaculture is expectedly the most economical and technologically advanced in the world. If you look at a marine farm as a whole, there is nothing complex to understand, neither in terms of its construction nor its technology. However, when I began delving into the details, it turned out that marine farming is a whole profession Right now on the screen, you can see how a modern marine farm is structured. All key elements are here. Let's take a closer look and break down what it consists of. And we'll start with the fish pens. They come in different shapes, but most often they are conical or cylindrical in shape, probably because it's easier to work with nets when the pen is round. Some pens are constantly at the surface, while others are submerged to grow fish at depths below 30 meters or so. It's also worth noting that fish pens have a complex system of anchors and buoys to secure them relative to the seabed. The next element is the feeding barge. When fish grow in these pens, one of the significant advantages is that there's no need to clean the water or oxygenate it. However, Feeding the fish is still necessary, and for this purpose, the marine farm has a feeding vessel known as a feeder. This vessel ensures precise and efficient fish feeding. The vessel you see now has eight feed hoppers, and the feed is delivered into the fish pens through a special system that mixes the feed with water and delivers it right to the spot where the fish will eat. By the way, this all operates from a generator for just three hours a day. While the generators are running, the batteries are charged, and for the remaining 19 hours, the station operates solely on battery power. There is accommodation for the personnel, a place to sleep, enjoy a cup of tea, have a meal, and a comfortable workspace for the operator. Another element of the marine farm is a vessel for transporting live fish. It is used to transport fish from such fish farms to processing plants, and is also used for the transportation of young fish. This vessel belongs to a large Norwegian company that specializes in salmon production. It has a length of 84 meters, a width of 16.2 meters, and three cargo tanks with aquariums, each capable of holding 1,000 cubic meters of fish. This vessel was built in Norway in 2015. The key components of this ship are its cargo handling equipment which includes special pumps for moving fish and the cargo tanks with aquariums equipped with a water circulation system in closed and semi-open circuits. An essential part of this process is the purification of the water being pumped, 
accomplished by using ultraviolet lamps that emit waves penetrating through the water, destroying bacteria, viruses, and pathogenic microorganisms. In addition to the fish pens, the feeding vessel, and the live fish transport vessel, Marine Farm is also equipped with a support vessel. This vessel is necessary to transport the maintenance personnel directly to the pens, install feeding system components, work with nets, and retrieve fish because they often die regularly. For this purpose, there are devices and dead fish are moved from the bottom of the pen to the surface. Fish mortality is a significant issue in fish farming. Fish are constantly attacked by parasites that attach themselves to them. Due to the high concentration of fish in fish farms, parasites are particularly abundant. Additionally, the warming of seawater as part of global warming has a detrimental effect on fish, especially salmon. Salmon thrive in water temperatures around 14-15 degrees Celsius, but if they live in water that is consistently around 18 degrees Celsius, their immune systems start to weaken. Fish mortality is increasing on marine farms and the industry is desperately combating this issue. In short, over the past few millennia, people have learned to cultivate fish, much like they raise chickens on poultry farms, quickly bringing them to the desired size. However, there is a constant struggle to prevent fish mortality due to jellyfish invasions or the proliferation of parasites in the pens. There is a belief that marine farms, especially the breeding of red fish, have a significant negative impact on the environment. Well, that's all I wanted to share in this video. If you'd like to add more information, feel free to do so in the comments. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments as well. In the video description, you'll find links to my LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. Your support helps in continuing content production, so I'm very grateful to those of you who have supported it with likes, comments, subscriptions, and donations. That's it for now. This has been the Cargo Ship Captain. Goodbye.